Welcome to the dashboard creation and management section of the SNAP for City course uh, 2020. So this uh, section is the second one in the, in the set of uh, section of the 2020 course of uh, the SNAP for City, the Scalable Smart Analytic Application Builder for Sensing City. It, is, uh, it, it has been sent in uh, streaming the 14, 15 April 2020. But it's still accessible from uh, with the whole uh, his own part <coughs> at this uh, uh, web page. So the general uh, overview of the full course, the full courses include a, a general uh, overview uh, dashboard creation management, uh, this part, uh, a description of the IoT application based on other red and exploiting uh, the, the SNAP for City microservices, uh, how to integrate IoT devices, uh, brokers, uh, networks, and gateway, and so on, connect uh, all these kind of IoT devices and networks uh, to SNAP for City. Uh, which kind of data analytics you can put in place uh, directly and develop uh, directly exploiting uh, the, the SNAP for City uh, features? Uh, uh, they can be uh, developed in, uh, in our studio, in Python. You can even develop in other languages if you like. And uh, you can exploit TensorFlow, you can exploit the machine learning, artificial intelligence algorithms, uh, whatever you can may have. Uh, intention to use and uh, you may have in your R studio. Uh, the, the, the R studios and Python environment are all also accessible directly from the web pages. So you don't need to install R studio. So you just es exploit the, our R studio servers on the Snapford City platform. It's a perfect solution for living lab expert. <coughs> <coughs> Fifth part uh, in includes uh, all description of the data ingestion, how you can ingest the data in the infrastructure, uh, which are the, the mechanisms for data warehouse, uh, for ingesting open data, or ingesting data coming from external services, or ingesting data coming from uh, IoT devices. Uh, and uh, we also use uh, for data ingestion IoT applications. So, uh, IoT application are described in the third part and the fifth part. Uh, you can see how they can be used not only for data processing but also for data ingest. The sixth part explain uh, how, which is the underlying uh, the SNAP for City architecture, how to install a SNAP for City on your premise, which are the main capability and the main feature to manage uh, a SNAP for City platform on your premise. Uh, the seventh part is going to explain to you how is the smart city API, how they are. They could be exploited also from data analytics. So if you follow with the data analytics, you can understand better uh, which kind of functionality you can call from the data analytics to access to the smart city API. On the other hand, smart city API are internal and external. There is a, a a number of uh, internal uh, smart city APIs that can be used to extend in the back office uh, the, the capability of the platform to connect the, the platform to your legacy module and, uh, and so on. And also they are used by web and mobile app and uh, we are going to present you also to you the a development toolkit for developing uh, smart city app. In, uh, in uh, your uh, area. In this sense, uh, you can start uh, from a development toolkit, uh, from a, a, a source code also in that case. Uh, you know that uh, Snap for City is 100% open source, so you can, uh, uh, for each module, uh, you can download uh, them and customize uh, and uh, share with the, with the community and, uh, and work with us uh, and with the, all the other uh, cities that are in, the, in Snap for City. So if you need an updated version and the view global of uh, this course, uh, you can go in, a, in a page five, uh, 577. Uh, on that page, you will be also published the video 
and other things. So you can attach us to, the, to that page also to a 2090 course, uh, 2090 version of this course, and also there is a, a, a version in Italian language uh, in a different web page that refers to uh, a former version of the course, not, not, uh, not, uh, not, the course not the extensive course of 2020. So we typically, we, every year, we had a number of features, so, and, and so the, the, the course of the 2018 or the 2019 are, are not uh, representing the, wall, uh, the, the, the real condition of Snapford City now. Uh, this, uh, this part agenda is reported in this slide, so what we are uh, representing in, this, uh, in these slides is a recall, uh, brief recall of Snapford City architecture, how you can use age, uh, a dashboard and how you can create a dashboard. So uh, create dashboard starting from widget, starting from a special custom widget, from GIS element, uh, how you, which is the unified data model behind uh, the concepts of uh, Snapford City, which is the best tool uh, for uh, analyzing the data, uh, how you can create a new dashboard and uh, maybe perform some exercitation so you can uh, test and then stress the system. If you enter in the system, you can uh, also develop your own dashboard and, uh, and see how they, they, they work, how they, they can be easy to be in created. You can associate a, a, a chat room uh, to, the, to the dashboard if you like uh, to, to manage a control room or for operators. Uh, the, the dashboard are also connected with the aspect of GDPR compliant, so there is the concept of data type management that the, the GDPR compliant. Let's now go to the <coughs> To the details of today, of uh, this section, uh, you know these, uh, these pictures because it's uh, something that uh, depicts how uh, a smart city can be accelerated and how is the process in general. So there is a phase in which uh, uh, data are collected and uh, once the data are collected and ingested, uh, the smart city APIs uh, can be exploited and uh, when, uh, when you have the data, you can also uh, start uh, to create uh, your, uh, your dashboard immediately. You don't need a foot step because when you have the data, the, uh, you have ingested the data, the, the system automatically creates all the links and the other mechanism for you to exploit the tools in creating dashboard. Dashboard uh, can be dashboard for operators, dashboard for decision maker, dashboard for the final user, depending on the shape uh, that, uh, that you decide to have and on the content, on the data that you put inside. So dashboard development in the context of uh, the, 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 the full uh, development life cycle typically uh, appear after uh, to have uh, uh, performed the analysis of design. In some cases, after the analysis of design, uh, you can jump directly to the dashboard, avoiding uh, to create a IoT app, so the intelligence behind the dashboard, uh, and even avoid it to create data analytics. You don't need to create data analytics or NADA to create an IoT app if you would like to only just to show the data collected on a dashboard. Historical data, real-time data, you, they can be shown directly on dashboard, directly on the dashboard of the map, immediately without need to further elaboration. So, a uh, short recall of Snapford City architecture. So, you know that the, once you have the data, the data can go directly on the dashboard. You don't need to have a, a micro application or analytics. It's clear with a big error on top, you can do it. So, the mechanism that you can connect uh, several different kinds uh, of uh, uh, of data, all data are bidirectional, 
Uh, also, the dashboard are bidirectional, so you can send and receive the data and also send the data in the layer of data storage and you can even send the data outside from the dashboard. You can send the data on the IoT network, so you can receive uh, comments and data from IoT networks in the dashboard or from external database, from other connection, and you can also interact with the, with the, with the storage. You can interact with the results uh, produced by the data analytics uh, and so on. You can connect your dashboard with the other dashboard to create a network of dashboards. Let's go to the dashboard usage and authoring. So once you are in the, in the, in, in the portal, you can uh, enter in the list of public uh, dashboard by clicking here, and this is what is going to appear. Public dashboards are... Uh, uh, so I have now a short uh, uh, demo section, which is a video that I am going to start. So that this is a small uh, demo. And, uh, you see what happens when you enter in the portal uh, as a not registered person. So you can see on the left side, different uh, menu with different functionality. You can access to the service map, to the knowledge base uh, for some region uh, that decided to make uh, this, uh, this service public. For instance, in Florence, uh, I can select some of the points of interest here uh, and ask for uh, in the visible area uh, 500 elements, uh, so they are depicted, they will be depicted as the items. Uh, since they, they have, were uh, too many, uh, they visualized all the first 500 of 6,893, so they were concentrated in the middle of the map. So uh, I, if I click one of those, I can see what the what they are, so there is a small garden in this case. So there are some set this map, also for other uh, countries or other uh, area, Calgary, uh, Garden Lake, and so forth. If, uh, if you are an organization registered at on, uh, on uh, Snapple City and would like to make this uh, uh, views on your area public, you have to ask us to do it, uh, so we can, uh, we can put them uh, public for, for all. So you can see the micro application. Uh, micro application are uh, a small uh, mobile app that allow to, to enter and uh, interact with it. In this case, uh, you have to be logged in, but there are many, many micro applications that are uh, fully, fully open. And this is one of them. So you see the, the, in the map some uh, authors. So there are uh, uh, external service, a large number of external service of different kinds. Um, you can register your own external services if you like. Uh, there is also possibilities to connect with the CCAN, with the open data, with the resource manager to browse uh, what the other groups are developed, some information regarding the agency APIs for the external massive API, uh, for uh, intense bugger, testing, uh, links, uh, piece of code access, uh, some, something monitoring regarding the APIs to give you the evidence that uh, what, what, is, uh, what is going to happen in the platform in general. So you see the, the, the rate, uh, the, the rate is close to one million of uh, uh, requests per day. Uh, we have also uh, monitoring uh, web and measure services on the web, so you can monitor the performance of the Zappos CD or data gate, 
or uh, some sample of IoT application, you can see the, the performance of the whole infrastructure and also to, to have some uh, enter in some additional tools uh, that you can test uh, entering as a guest, uh, guest uh, user. You can uh, also have uh, help in uh, the contact for help, for FAC, uh, and the larger uh, range of documentation. Returning to the portal, you can uh, make uh, your query, for instance, uh, uh, for KPIs or whatever, you can get a list of test case uh, in which uh, you say how to create the KPIs. Uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, well-documented uh, test cases. Uh, they are more than, than 100. They are listed uh, here in the uh, documentation. So this is the main menu. You can uh, access to the, to the articles, uh, list of articles with all uh, the, 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 the activity. You can, uh, you can really uh, see and uh, start uh, your training on uh, the uh, City. There is also a list of uh, documentation, video overview of tutorials, uh, list of uh, articles, list of test cases. Uh, test cases are divided by category, dashboard, IoT applications, uh, and so on. For each of them, you have a list, but all of them are accessible for search. So if you put a keyword, you can get the, the contextualized answer. So, uh, I have access to the public dashboard also. Those are uh, 21 pages of 12 public dashboard. You can browse them, use them, and see how they look fit. Look, uh, so what you can do, you can have an idea of which kind of dashboard you can uh, uh, produce. Uh, most, most of them are public. And, uh, you can uh, you can play with them. Huh? <coughs> you, if you are the owner of a given dashboard, you can uh, clone the dashboard and uh, pass uh, the cloned version to some other thing. Uh, this is the way in which you can uh, you can have uh, examples. So, so if you if you like uh, if you like to have an example of uh, to have a copy of some of those dashboard, you have to ask us to make for you a copy. If we can do. If the, the dashboard that, that don't hide the SAM uh, uh, control of the, of the specific data, uh, we can clone for you and uh, it has been uh, produced by us, so it's possible to, to, to see. So below the dashboard, you see that it's public and the, which organization has been uh, uh, from which organization has been produced. Uh, you don't see, obviously, the owner because the owner for privacy is not, uh, is not published. Uh, let me see one of those. Uh, this is one of the dashboard with the, with the spider net, with the studio, so you can click and see the segments. Uh, you can uh, see other dashboards as well for uh, for interacting like this one for testing uh, some uh, some events uh, of appreciation. You can uh, you can uh, have some uh, other dashboards for uh, uh, say observing what is going on. Uh, this is the, the life in Antwerp. In this case, uh, are uh, uh, food and wine uh, category. But I can ask for high quality uh, data. Now you have to be registered. Okay, I am going to be registered as an answer to user. And uh, once registered, I can see uh, the heat map. Uh, but in most of them, you don't need to be registered. So if I click, uh, I can uh, I can see the value and the, the, the I can uh, I can uh, move uh, to, to jump uh, to see the other uh, functionalities or I can change the game on the selector and see other other functionalities as well. For instance, traffic flow, not traffic flow. This is a people flow, sorry, and uh, on square. But you can zoom and see. 
Sitters of Moment inside, inside the city. Yeah. These are uh, activities performed by the people in uh, getting out from this area at any time in the, in the last uh, months. Okay, so if, uh, if you are here, if you have lo logged in, if you are logged in, you can, uh, you can uh, click on one of those lists and create a new dashboard. I am now creating a new dashboard. So I am now anchoring in a, in a way to create a, a new dashboard. So I am clicking on the on the button here in your dashboard, on the upper level corner. So this dashboard will be called the test course two. And I decide to to create a, a full custom just to, to have a full capability. For uh, of creating a, a, let's say, codes, of creating a, 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 an empty an empty uh, dashboard, but with the full capability. Uh, if you select uh, one of the other model, uh, you you are going not to, to have uh, all possibilities, but the shape will be already set up according to the structure that you have uh, uh, imposed. So. To give you a, a more flexible and more wider example, I'm entering as a, a full custom. So uh, I pass uh, with the next uh, directly. Uh, the system brings me to the view of uh, all the data of the Antwerp uh, uh, area because I, I was uh, Paolo dot is uh, my account in the Antwerp uh, uh, organization. So. I can see on the left side the list of possible high-level type, so I can select them. Uh, for instance, I can select the, the sensors. If I select the sensor, the system will, will select all the data regarding the sensors and the, 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 only the widget that, correspond, that can be visualized in the, in the, can visualize the sensor are shown is uh, if I select everything, uh, all the kind of, all, all the kind of uh, elements uh, that could be visualized with be shown. So I can, uh, I can select uh, one single element and uh, according to what I selected, I can see the position of the element in the map and uh, once I selected the position, I can see what, which kind of uh, sensor I can, uh, I can take. I am removing uh, I am. Uh, I can uh, also select uh, some uh, some uh, environmental variable, for instance, environ uh, PM10. Okay, PM10. I am searching for PM10 in Antwerp. I am clicking there. I am going to see where the sensor is located. I can select more than one. Let me see. Uh, this is the high quality average. And, uh, and the others, uh, there are only two of them. I can make another query like uh, NO2. Let, let me see if there are uh, or temperature. Temperature. Uh, temperature. Uh, I have uh, temperature. Let, let me see. I can uh, uh, filter or map. Uh, so deciding, asking. To, uh, to have uh, this kind of uh, segmentation for the map and, uh, and, and thus I can do uh, again a PM10 search uh, in this area. Uh, this one I can uh, search for temperature. Okay, Antwerp, uh, let me see if there are some interesting temperature, weather sensor, mean, max, etc. So at this point, uh, I can select uh, to have uh, uh, this kind of trend. Uh, and the, the system informed me that some of those things can be can be shown. Uh, so the, the uh, answer to the antenna heat map can be shown, but the other cannot be shown with this graph. So I can decide to, to select another one, for instance, the trend. And in this case, it told me that I can, I can see 
uh, the, the, the trend for the mission, but not the map, because the heat map is going to be on the map. So if I select the last one, I have this, the same, the same uh, approach. So there are some, uh, this is for, to, to give you an idea of, of what you can do. So you can, uh, if uh, you select something that cannot be fit on the same uh, graphics, you can, uh, the system uh, try to arrange on most of them, and then you can, uh, you can decide to remove uh, or, or not. I am taking a different PM10 value. Let, let me see if there are something that can be uh, visualized in a different manner. Or, uh, uh, high quality. Okay. Are all, all of those are uh, are heat maps, so it's uh, very very difficult. Or time. Okay, so it seems that th there is no other uh, or packs, maybe packs. packs mm -hmm. There are uh, there are some uh, some uh, some uh, value that are not. Uh, some, uh, if, you, if you don't find uh, there, you, you tend to arrange it in the, in, in the map. But, uh, so when, uh, when you select uh, the, the map view, for instance, in this case, uh, all, all this uh, variable can be arranged now, and I am trying to go ahead And the the, the maps uh, is uh, is uh, automatically shown, so you can uh, you can see the map uh, in the grid, and the map uh, also show the the heat map. In this case, so I am saving. Uh, I am resizing the the the, the map. I can uh, I can uh, I can save I can change the shape of uh, this uh, this menu on the left side. Uh, I can see the preview of uh, the dashboard, and uh, in the preview um, uh, I can uh, change the, the the zoom. I can uh, change the intensity of colors. I can uh, ask for uh, different kind of uh, uh, elements are, are there because most of most of them are attached to the same uh, to the same sensors, uh, and so I see the same pin. Uh, I can attach also a a, a trend. Uh, for instance, I can uh, uh, pass again on the wizard. And uh, ask for a weather sensor in uh, again in Antwerp. And, uh, I should not see the uh, temperature again. I, I like to see the temperature in uh, in Antwerp again. Okay, with that sense of mean temperature forecast, I select one of those, and I ask to have a time frame. In this case, uh, it is uh, shown a trend. I ask to have the trend in the in the in the system. This trend uh, can be uh, can be associated with uh, any value I, I would like to show in. Uh, in the in the dashboard uh, to give you a, an idea i uh, if i if i click here and uh, i have uh, the possibilities uh, to see the high temperature and pressure I, I would like to see the this kind of trend in seven days regarding this temperature and i would like to see this trend on this region 
Uh, this is possible, editing, uh, and saving the layout, and uh, editing uh, the, uh, the selector. And uh, when I go here, uh, I have to uh, say which kind of target uh, I, I would like to, to, uh, to use uh, when I click. So I am selecting all of them. At this point, uh, the target will be that one. And, uh, and, and so it will be possible to connect uh, the data that I'm going to select on the, on the selector with the data on the, on the card. Uh, I am testing again uh, the solution, uh, selecting this weather and uh, uh, acting on this uh, uh, element and asking to see, for instance, the pressure in the last days. Uh, that's the value, the temperature in the last weather or the temperatures in the last 30 days. I can navigate here I, and ask for the previous value as well. Okay, so I can have a multiple of these links, a multiple of these relations. I can jump again back and forth from the white wizard and so on. This is, a, this is a, what, what happens. So I, I have had the widget below and so I can uh, return on the, on the preview and reload the preview to see the new shape of the dashboard as well. This is fine. I can uh, finally, I can change uh, from the more option, even uh, the shape. Uh, instead of using test description, I am going to have the, the icon-based uh, approach and the icon-based approach uh, would allow me to select uh, some, some of, the, of the symbols. And uh, I have in this case uh, confirmed the change in uh, icon modality and uh, some of those uh, uh, icons are shown so I can uh, uh, reduce, uh, for example, uh, the shape of uh, my, my view uh, to give more space to the map. I can, uh, I can change the, the size of uh, reducing this uh, empty space. I can uh, reduce this uh, over a while. I can decide to be responsive to how to make some automatic fittings. I can change the 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 num the the icons, and uh, and so I can have different icons for different purposes, and I can change the the color of the icons as well. So when I, when you change the, the color of the icons, uh, I can even to have uh, all the color to hold the icons and uh, to hold the, 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 the menu and uh, and and, and does, uh, all these uh, Yeah. Now. I forgot to click, sorry. Uh, now I have the icons all of the same colors. They have a different, uh, they have a different meaning. They have, uh, uh, they may have different uh, pins. Uh, pins can be, uh, okay, let me see what we can do. Again, I can reorder the, 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 the selector with different, with different uh, ordering. I can have a, a different kind of uh, uh, pins. Let me see where it is. Uh, color. Okay. Uh, pin icons directly, and so now. I have the same pin on uh, on the on the map uh, of those that I have selected here in the in the, in the, in the icons. So, so the pins uh, again uh, still work in everything, and uh, and uh, and I, I can check it again. I can change the density and so on. So. I can have the same color for pins and the menu. This is up to you, so you can decide whatever you want. Okay, 
So uh, the, this uh, demo section is uh, closed, so we can uh, go ahead uh, in, uh, in uh, passing to the next. Uh, we have a number of uh, uh, slides uh, explaining how the philosophy behind the creation of uh, dashboard and the usage of widget it, it works. Uh. So we have seen uh, yesterday those uh, dashboard for Helsinki, Antwerp, uh, or uh, Florence, and so on. We have seen uh, the, the, during the, the demo that we can associate, uh, we have associated some uh, graphics uh, icons uh, to, uh, to, um, to each uh, single widget. We are going to help you in understanding this approach uh, and the name, so the terminology we use uh, inside the demo and inside the, the, the general uh, uh, snap for city So this is a, a dashboard. The dashboard con con is based on a number of widgets. Widget, they have uh, some names. For instance, a selector is a tool for selecting items that usually are uh, sent to some uh, widget map. In this case, it's a multi-data map because uh, it allows you to show not only uh, simple elements on map, but also heat map or traffic or whatever. So it's a very versatile uh, widget map. You may have uh, also time trend, which is uh, something on which you can show the, the single trend, or you can have a single content widget to show some values or text. You may also have some external content, like a stream of a video uh, in embedded inside a, a single element that can be resizable. Each widget can be resized. Each widget can have or could have been removed the header. And some of the widget reports in the header the, the time, the dead the, the time, so the time uh, uh, remaining to its update. Each widget may have a different time for update, and uh, the update is programmed by the more option of the single widget. You can change all the color. You can change the color of the background, you can change the color of the border, you can change the color of the, of the header. You can attach it to the, to the single widget even in information pop-up in which you can uh, write for instance, uh, from where the content is coming, from where the data is coming. You may have in the, in the dashboard also uh, buttons. Uh, buttons uh, could, could have a different color, can be shaded, no shaded, uh, can be with text or image overlapped and so on. So uh, in this case, uh, we have at, uh, uh, in the wizard, when uh, we create the, the dashboard, we have some icons uh, representing uh, the, these uh, elements. A, a, a quite uh, uh, evident icon is the selector and the multi-data map. Sometimes uh, these, uh, these kind of icons are compounded to create more complex, uh, more complex uh, elements that put together different kind of uh, element uh, in, uh, in uh, in, uh, together in one click you can uh, create a multiple uh, multiple uh, widget in the same dashboard as you have seen in the demo you can uh, you can create your dashboard compounding and recalling the wizard more than once and uh, taking deciding what you would like to add at your uh, uh, dashboard uh, when uh, when it is created, you can do these things how many times you like. You can try, add more widgets, and then abort and, and, and delete them, add more, and, and so on. There are other widgets in the, in the dashboard that, for instance, in the Helsinki, the button widget, the external content for video, and many other kinds, or the single content and time trend. All of them have a different icon. And if you learn it, if you learn how to uh, recognize them, it could be very easy for you to select whatever you want and uh, to, to, to reach your results in a very, 
short manner. Uh, so I think that we, we already tested this mechanism several times and we have seen that the, it's quite easy to match in your mind the, the kind of, uh, uh, of widget you have. So you have to become confident in this, but it would not be difficult. You, it's a matter of training and we are here just for that. So uh, there, there are a number of uh, examples now in which you can, uh, you, you can see the overlap at the icon to the element. So you can associate in your mind which kind of uh, icon representation to obtain that kind of results. So the multi-data map is there, is written there. The bottom is just the bottom. The trend is a, a, an icon representing a trend. The single content, double hex because there could be number, but could be even text. External content is a web page. It's just a web page. You can put any web page there. And the selector is a list of elements with icon or just icons. It's still a selector. So uh, even these kind of complex uh, uh, e uh, dashboard with multiple maps, and multiple selector, and multiple trends can be realized uh, compounding and passing more than once time in more than once uh, in, in the in the in the wizard. So you can really create your your uh, scenarios as you like. Uh, this is another example with a, a, again a multi-data map, a time trend, a single content a selector, and uh, and again another example with a multi-data map. Uh, and uh, again, a single content, a single content, time, trend, trend, selector, selector. Uh, sometimes uh, I uh, remove the icon to stimulate your, uh, your uh, uh, memory in uh, matching again and again and again. So multi-data map, this is the multi-data map. This is a multi, if you take into account the combination of a multi-data map with a selector, you, you may obtain this kind of view. So a maps on the left side and also a, a selector with icon on the right side. So you can put the, the selector, whatever you want, on top, on left, on right, whatever. You can uh, uh, change the size of the map. In the map may have also a, a, a small uh, widget inside in which you can select the, 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 the background kind of map. So selector, single content, a time trend, or clock. This is another uh, widget for showing the, the time and date and time. Uh, there are other uh, combinations that could be used for creating uh, creating a dashboard. One uh, uh, well-known combination is the, the one that put together the external content, that is the external content, and a selector web, as we call it. So a selector that allows you to uh, push a number of web pages into the external content. You can push, uh, you can send a web page in the external content even by using the button. So if you have a button, you can send the button to the, to the you can send an URL to the, to the external content by using a button. You don't need to have a selector if you have only one choice. <coughs> external services are as available from the menu. Uh, you can click them, you can list them and almost all of them can be embedded in the in dashboard. If uh, you have uh, experienced some problems in embedding them, it may, you may need to ask the authorization uh, to, to be embedded by the, the external content, uh, the external service owner. But in most cases, you can do it. Uh, if are yours, our legacy stuff, uh, you can do it uh, quite uh, easily. You have to ask to your administrator. There are many examples that can be embedded, already embedded. If uh, they don't, can, they cannot be embedded, you can ask them to be shown by using this small tab. You say new tab, and not iframe-based visualization, but they can be visualized from a new tab. So, uh, this is an example with a selector web and the external content. This is a live in Toscana. There is a similar 
life in Antwerp, life in, in, uh, in Helsinki. Uh, it's an external content with the selector web. Again, it's an external content with the selector web. Again, uh, this is still a selector web with an external content. This is a monitoring for real-time bus uh, position. And uh, it has also a small button here with an icon jumping to some other. Uh, uh, and so you see now the animation inside the, 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 this uh, widget. We can see this uh, small uh, demo here. Uh, for instance, uh, to see the position of buses in the whole Toscany, uh, we, you can uh, uh, perform uh, uh, yeah, the whole view for, uh, for what is going on. Huh? Okay. Okay, so you can uh, search them, you can uh, decide which of them uh, could be uh, of interest for you. And if you click uh, on uh, on uh, on the service, you can uh, you can have the the precise information about uh, the the that bus. Uh, you see moving uh, because the bus is moving. And uh, this uh, shown can be based on the real actual data of moving bus or the interpolation. Uh, of the movement on the basis of the time uh, uh, schedule. So uh, the same approach, uh, different uh, scenarios with the selector web icons in this case, uh, oops, icons in this case uh, is a selector web external content. Uh, this is a for S in, in a white dashboard. Uh, in most of those dashboards that I have shown to you, there is a link. So is, uh, if you access to the PDF version or to the interactive version of the slides, you can click on to use them. So uh, this is another example in which we have uh, three buttons sending different external content in, a, in, a, in the, an external content. In this case, uh, the, the example is a 3D view of uh, value for uh, uh, sensors with a, a 3D view representation of the map and with the three-dimensional uh, uh, values of the sensor representing the, the, the value of uh, the sensor, in this case the road sensor average time, car parking, uh, free slots. So a lot of free slots are there, but these are parking almost empty uh, with uh, no free slots. Uh, examples, uh, some of those uh, uh, external services have, have their own widget but only some of them. In general, you can connect any external service and not all the external services have their own widget. Uh, it is much easier to uh, identify them in the list of the widget, so in the list of the wizard. So you just select high-level types external service, so you will see all the external services that you can embed, and you just click and see them in the in the attached to the selector so uh, you can also embed into a selector web a micro application not only the external uh, services but also micro application there is a menu on the on the left side in which there is the list of micro application micro application can be of several different kinds any element uh, any views that you have in the in the in the mobile app is a, a, a micro application, instant application that can be shown also in a widget of a dashboard. This is an example of four uh, 
micro application, all of them with an external content. So there are four different external contents and the buttons that allow to jump from one dashboard to another. So uh, these are a collection of uh, mi micro application, relevant, the, probably the most relevant the micro application for uh, the analyzing and moving uh, in the offer of uh, public transportation with the uh, time schedule and path, another one for smart parking, another one for all environmental variable, and another one for uh, routing, uh, multimodal routing. They can be embedded in the world dashboard, whatever you want, or accessed from mobile. So uh, it is possible to send in the multi-data map not only uh, a point of interest, a pin, uh, uh, data, real-time data, or uh, sensor, or others, uh, and as uh, already shown in the past, you can also uh, add uh, traffic events, entertainment events, and mobile uh, operator events in a way that you can put in the same view different uh, selector, different information. This is an example in which you can see the traffic flow uh, represented in the map, but you can, and, uh, and as a selector, uh, classical selector with a multi-data map in the center and the sum of uh, uh, events, uh, uh, rules that could send elements in the, in the, in the map. Uh, this is a, the annotated dashboard with the icons, multi-data map, time trend, but selector and those others are traffic events. Eh? traffic events, entertainment events, and mobile operator events. All of them can send the data in the map. You can have also a widget for showing data, for example, single content, WX, or time trend compare that is represented here with a double track. So a comparison of the day with the previous day, of the months with the previous months, of an year with the previous year, and so on. Or multiple of these couple, single content and time trend. You can have also speedometers or others uh, uh, widget as well. This is an example of a BART series. You can, uh, again, you can uh, jump uh, to see this dashboard, the BART series are, uh, can be used for histogram or for comparing value from different kinds of sensors and so on. They can be stacked or not stacked, vertical, horizontal, and they can be even generated automatically from uh, the IoT app. So uh, you can may have a multi-series, uh, that means that uh, uh, multiple track uh, with the same uh, time uh, schedule. You can uh, generate, uh, this is an example for, uh, uh, from uh, COVID-2019 uh, data, COVID-19. Uh, and uh, so you can access to the dashboard from COVID, from that link and see. So the, the time, the multi-series the time trend uh, have a, that kind of widget icon. You can represent them in stacked version, so to cumulative stacked version. You can have a shaded version, so uh, in a way that they are still not, uh, not uh, accumulated one to the others. They, they restart from, uh, from the zero, and you can compare the, the level of one with respect to the other. If you go on the single element, you can turn it off and on the single value and you can really play with it. You can create your own uh, comparison, uh, for instance, uh, the classical view in which you can uh, put uh, all the trends uh, uh, from a given point, uh, and you can see the, this uh, multi, multi series in terms of days uh, from the, the first days in which the, the 100 cases has been identified. So all this data can be updated automatically and uh, can receive uh, data from IoT or from uh, my KPI, from sensor and others 
uh, sources and from uh, your IoT app as well. This is a, another example of time series uh, with a stacked and, uh, and uh, shaded version. Uh, this is an example of Pi and Do Not. And uh, Dynot, uh, you can uh, see different uh, um, shapes. Uh, the Pi is a single level. This is a two level Do Not. They can be grouped. Uh, uh, starting in, from inside for data type and outside for data unit or the opposite. You, you can see this uh, for uh, all, all, the, all, the, all the sensors and, uh, and here the value of the sensor. Or the opposite, you can have uh, the, the value of the sensors and, uh, and uh, in the second level a different kind of uh, sensors uh, name. So you can work, uh, you can put inside what you like uh, and outside uh, in the peripheral the value of the, of the leaf, of the, this hierarchy of, of uh, sensor value. You can have a speedometers and gauge. Speedometers are this one. Uh, you can define colors for each uh, uh, position of the trend. Uh, you can define mean minimum uh, and max, you can define this, the position of the, each single uh, change of color uh, in terms of thresholds and so on. So that, that part uh, is, uh, is very flexible and uh, you can do it. You can also define table, create a table with a, with a color map. Table can be uh, all of the same uh, colors or you can associate it to a column a color map. The color map uh, is a standard one, so you can define a color map with the threshold at which uh, you need to change the color. And this color map can be used in the heat map and can be used also in these tables as well. You can uh, create a spider net or radar or Kiviat, uh, are also called the Kiviat, uh, Kiviat diagram. So. Uh, these kind of uh, diagrams uh, depend on how many variables you have. Uh, and so they can be uh, or three or four, five, ten different axes. So you can compare this, uh, this trend, the trend of a given sensor with the trend of other sensors. They can be used for comparing your value with respect to key performance indicator. If, uh, if the, 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 the polyline representing your threshold is, uh, is uh, above or below your, uh, your value, you can uh, understand if your uh, uh, reference value are, are performing better than the, the expected KPIs or not. So this is a quite a well-known approach for KPIs comparison. So all together, so uh, Kiviats, Kiviats, uh, Pi or Multipi, Stacked, multi-trend, stacked, no stacked, uh, vertical, horizontal, bar series, uh, tables, and so on. There are some uh, other tools, uh, uh, for instance, for special widget for showing the service map inside uh, a dashboard. The service map is the knowledge base with his own controls. You can do it not having the maps, but it's another uh, tools for rendering maps. You can use the service map as well inside. You can uh, visualize the status of the triage with a, with a specific widget, single triage status, multiple triage status, so with many uh, triage in the area. Uh, triage means the first item. Huh? So you may have also other information in the external content like traffic flow or widget for Twitter vigilance uh, real time. You may have uh, multiple buttons, uh, events, uh, and the external content with the TV cameras are also uh, good examples. Uh, also, this one is a nice example with the, with the speedometers, with the speedometers, uh, gauge, Again, bars, single bars with the threshold, a menu based on buttons, some single contents with the unit and the web monitoring, and some uh, selector and map. Uh, again, 
uh, you can make the exercise of uh, which, which, of, which of which, eh? which kind of uh, uh, icon uh, is the, uh, the good rep the corresponding representation. So this is another example with uh, a, another kind of special widget. So on the right side, we see the selector web. On the left side, the number of time trend, the single content, a button here, and the button below again. And inside here, uh, there is a, a, some external service that you can, uh, uh, that can, in this case, uh, embed a, a micro application. You can embed inside there a tracker. A tracker is a tool for tracking uh, the position of uh, people. And, uh, and so you can hack the, a multi-track uh, to be placed into a, a multi-track widget uh, of a, an an, 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 another dashboard can be embedded in this dashboard. So you can embed dashboard in other dashboards as well. So uh, you can create a set of connected dashboard. This is an example of a, an informative totem in Florence which you may have uh, big buttons and if you click uh, off uh, some of them you can jump uh, to other dashboard as well remaining uh, with a full screen approach and so on and this is exactly what is uh, uh, exploited in the in the control room uh, for uh, the the measure of uh, the city of florence so this is the uh, an example of uh, the control room uh, uh, dashboard, each of these uh, widgets uh, can allow you to click and pass uh, to others, uh, uh, other dashboards. Uh, le le let's see the annotation. Le most of them are single content. Uh, some of them are special widgets, uh, such as the civil protection and uh, weather, weather forecast. Uh, single content reporting, the status of the public transportation, time trend, and so on. Each single, each single uh, representation can, can, uh, uh, can be clicked, can be clicked to jump to another uh, web page and, and, uh, and uh, scenario. So uh, this is another powerful. Uh, um, dashboard for what if analysis uh, the dashboard with the what if analysis also include a multi data trend single single trend single content buttons and selector at the end uh, most of the widget are always the same uh, we have another uh, example in which we have uh, an external content with the svg with the custom widget with a, a single content, a time trend, another map, and another selector, special widget for, for, uh, for, um, for meteor forecast, some buttons, and some single content. So you can uh, uh, create your custom widget. Custom widget can be produced by using SVG. It will be shown later how to do it. So it's not a very big uh, complex, uh, but you can create uh, this very nice uh, widget with a lot of uh, data uh, changing in real time or animation or other things. Okay, so multi-data map uh, widget. The multi-data map widget is the, probably the most powerful widget for representing data. You can put... Uh, 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 knowledge base sensors, actuators, uh, uh, all uh, this kind of information. You can also put uh, WFS, WMS uh, data. You can uh, uh, integrate in the, in the multi-data map also special tools like uh, traffic flow, uh, scenarios, what if analysis, and so on, all, all, all together. These are examples created with the multi-data map. You can uh, associate a multi-data map with a, with a, a technical uh, selector like this one. The technical selector allows you to have a huge amount of uh, elements to be selected 
and, and uh, visualized on the on the on the map. Uh, this uh, would not be possible if you have uh, a lot of icons or a lot of a uh, selector with the uh, with the icons or with the uh, with the micro buttons, micro buttons because uh, they they takes too much space. But if you have uh, a list, uh, you can select which kind of elements you would like to show, and uh, would be very 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 technical but effective and. You can control in deep. So this is another example with a, with a multi-data map, a single content, time trend, and icons on the selector. Uh, recently, we we had it, and we have in beta testing also the possibilities to render the the, the city in 3D with a 3D extrusion of the of the building, and uh, you can also under underimpose to the map and change the map in the background. And also overlap the traffic flow and uh, and uh, and uh, cycling path and pins uh, in the in the map. You can rotate the map and bend the map. Uh, you can play with. It. So this also accessible for testing. Uh, 